New career. I thought she did a fantastic job, didn't she? Absolutely. She at the end. <laughs> uh, no introduction needed. Joe from Mulberry's Restaurant in Lackawanna. What street? Uh, Jackson Street. Jackson Street. You're making what I thought was the most delicious thing I'd tasted um, when we were at Shays, the right. new restaurant, mm -hmm. which opens. And it opens only on days where the ma major productions Major are Broadway on. productions, right. Two hours before the show. Two hours before the show. And I'll tell you, it's a treat to go there. You should... We're making agnoletti. Right, veal agnoletti. Veal agnoletti. Basics of it. What do you need? Uh, basically, what we do is we take a, a, a veal breast on the bone. We cut the meat off the, the bones. Then we take the bones and we roast them. <clears throat> we roast them along with some beef bones, sometimes lamb bones. And what we do is we put that in a pot with some aromatics, carrot, celery, onion, that type of stuff, some peppercorns. And we start with about this much water. Uh, in there, and we end up with about this much. And also, how much time? How much? How long are you boiling it? Uh, well, it, it it cooks for some time. Well, we leave it on overnight, and then we'll drain it, and then we put it back on for another night. So it's a slow process. It takes a while, but it just develops all the flavors. It's like liquid gold, then. It is. I it mean, is. literally, you leave it overnight. Right. Are you not afraid of fire or something? No. <laughs> well, hopefully not. Anyhow. It's practical. <laughs> all right. So you have the reduction here. Right. And then the pasta. The pasta's here. What we do is we, we make the pasta. We use some flour. We use double zero flour because it has a little bit more gluten. And um, we, use, uh, we make an egg dough for this. So we use six yolks and one egg for one and three quarters cups of pasta. Just a little bit of water, a little bit extra virgin olive oil. And we just throw a touch of cream in there because it's chefy, but it really doesn't make much difference. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Joe, when we come back, we're going to get started with this dish, and I can't wait to try it. Sounds good. All right. Thank All right. you. We're going to head into the news newsroom room now. From Mulberries in Lackawanna on Jackson Street. Jackson Street. We are making uh, veal agnolotti. Yes, ma'am. Time intensive normally because you got to boil down the reduction like for days, two days to this. Right. And the flavor though is worth well worth the wait. Oh, it's really, it, it just, everything just kind of combines. It really packs it in, you know. What are the mushrooms that you use? Because you told me that before. The mushrooms are called beach mushrooms, B E. E-C-H as opposed to B-E-A-C-H, like you don't go forage for them on Woodlawn Beach right. or something like that. Um, they're, uh, they're, uh, they're called Hanshimenji. I, can, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but they're cute little mushrooms. They are. They're girly mushrooms. They're like Smurf mushrooms. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and those just go in the dish at the end, just uh, I mean, more or less for presentation. There isn't a whole lot of flavor to them. But it a little does bit. absorb the reduction. I it, the yeah, it sure does. Yeah. Tell us about the filling. Okay, the filling, well, basically what we do is when we cut that meat off the bones from the veal, uh, we braise that in the oven for about two hours so it's nice and tender. And uh, we saute up some shiitake mushrooms, a little bit of shallow. We throw some thyme in there. And then three cheeses, Fontina, Pecorino, Romano, and Parmigiano Reggiano. Uh, and that really rounds out the, uh, the, the filling. And the, the flavor of the veal is intense because of the slow cooking process. So it really just kind of, everything's really intense. Is this a dish that you offer on a regular basis at the restaurant? This dish was created for Della Mostra at Chase because we wanted to go to a smaller plate format. And I don't want to say small plate because originally it was small plate, but we, I just can't help myself. Just smaller <laughs> plate. Um, but we're going to put this on the menu at the Mulberry. The, the response to it's just been tremendous. I know you loved it. Loved it. If I could possibly <laughs> replicate it, I will. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to go to Della Mostra, even if I don't go to the show. All right. Then <laughs> you can do that. Down. That's right. <laughs> yep. You don't have to have tickets to the show to get into the restaurant. No. Nope. It's just open on the nights that you have a big production. Right. Yep. At Shea's right next door to the theater. Right. Yep. All right. Wonderful. We're going to put all this together. We are. Come back for our next segment. When we come back, we're going to take a break right now. We are going to talk with the original Marathon Man. Actually, the organization, my son took a photography uh, summer camp there. SEPA Gallery. Okay. Joe, we're ready to put together um, our agnolotti. Okay, so after we make the pasta, we form a little ball with it. We run it through our pasta machine here. We get it down. There's numbers on the machine. So you start with one, you graduate to two, three, four. Uh, we like to go about between four and five, which makes it uh, thinner. As the, the numbers grow, the pasta gets thinner. So we want it nice and thin. Okay. Uh, and we end up with something roughly around like this. Okay. Okay, so we just brush it with some egg because we want to hold it all together. And yours is more of an egg-based. This pasta. is an egg. This is an egg pasta. This is a very rich dish. This is one of those things I that like it. you can only eat so much of. And we just put some of this in here like this. Oh, work with me here. And that is the veal filling. This is the filling, right? And what's in the filling again? You filling is veal, some shiitake mushroom, and uh, three different types of cheese. By the way, the uh, the, the reduction? The reduction itself looks like this when it's cold, which is very gelatin, not unlike the second part of my chin or my big old belly. <laughs> You're too funny. So uh, after it's reduced, you just stick it in the refrigerator and that's what it turns to gelatin? You don't have to put anything else in it? That's it, yep. 
Okay. And we just fold this over. A little more so egg. All of your stuff is made handmade, or this one is always made. The annual is always, hand. yep, just about every day. Holy smokes. You have this at De La Mostra, Maestro Etches every time you're open there. That's you're correct. You're putting it on your menu to be a regular dish at, at the Mulberry. Yep. Okay. Very, very uh, well received dish. What are other favorites at the restaurant? Uh, and you know, we sell a lot of gnocchi. We make the gnocchi, and obviously uh, we're known for lasagna. We sell a lot of lasagna. And your huge meatballs. And our big meatballs, yep. Okay. And then we just cut it with a pastry cutter because it crimps it. Oh, that. And, bring some of your... and here's the finished product. So we're going to cook some of these. Yes, we are. And we're... they cook up very quickly because it's fresh and it's thin. Is this the flour? This is rice flour. Uh, you can use rice or fine ground semolina underneath so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Wow, it is so fine. It's like a fine sand. It, it is. It's very fine. I think that's enough okay. for now. And then just turn the heat up on here and put some of our girly mushrooms in there. <laughs> Smurf. Smurf homes. And it would not be a calorie packed uh, intense meal unless we put a pad of butter in there. We're going to have like a some. a tablespoon of butter? Yeah, about a tablespoon. We're going to. Put some, we're going to use some of this in second helpings, too. Okay. Second uh, helpings is a fond nickname we use for some of our cooks in the kitchen. We have a cook named Dwight Barber there. We call him second helping because he can't eat just one of anything. <laughs> I kind of feel that way myself, especially <laughs> when you're here. Uh, it, this is the reduction? You're just heating up? Yep. We just heat that up with the mushrooms and a little bit of butter just to give it a little bit of sheen and some texture. And they both take about roughly about a minute and a half. Okay. Tell us about your new restaurant as well as your staple mulberries. Well, Mulberry, this is our eighth year at Mulberry now, and uh, knock on wood, uh, it's been very successful, and we're tremendously grateful to all of our customers for that. And uh, we, we have this little satellite restaurant at Chase now called Della Mostra, which, as I said before, opens two hours before every major Broadway show. And when there's matinees, we open two hours before the matinee. For example, Friday we'll be there at noon and then again at 6. And you don't have to have a ticket to go to the show, although we suggested it would be a perfect, you know, evening. Perfect evening, right. Um, but you can just come. Just realize when the production is and to come two hours before. Right. Do they have to make reservations? Yeah, there's very limited space there, so basically it's all reservations right now. What about mulberries? Mulberry, uh, there's, there's, well, it seems like there's limited space there, all there is, and it's just been pretty busy, knock on wood, like I said. I would suggest a reservation for sure. On every night you take them? Every night, every night of the week. Especially for sporting event nights, I bet. Yeah, Sabres games and We and tried to get in once, and uh, we just couldn't. I was going to drop your name, but then I thought they would just say so. <laughs> <laughs> you right. have to drop my partner's name, Tim Everly. That, that works better than mine. <laughs> I'll try both of you next time. <laughs> All right, so we have, we're stirring this up. The agnolati, you leave it in there boiling for how long? But, but roughly about a minute and a half. Okay. We've got about how much longer, Lauren? We've got about 30 seconds, so we may have All to right. cook this off, and I'll try it in our second helping segment. Okay, all we'll right. Just cook this up. So mulberries and Della Mostra at Shea's Mulberries on Jackson Street in Lackawanna. Bethlehem Park. Bethlehem Park. Yep. And this is going to be agnolati. Veal agnolati is going to be on the regular menu on both. It's only at Della Mostra right now in a special. That's correct. Berries. Right. There you have it. We're going to take a break right now. Let this cook off. When we come back, Amelia is going to tell you what you can expect outside today. Bring an umbrella. All right. The uh, Agnolotti, everybody has tried it in the studio, and everybody is giving it a 20 thumbs up. Um, that's going to be at Mulberry's as well as Della Mostra. That's correct. What are you making now, tyrene? This is called tyrene, T-A-J-A-R-I-N. And all this is is we take some of the leftover pasta sheet that we have and we cut it into little strips, and I'll show you how we do that. Watch your fingers. Just Don't do this at home, kids. It starts like this, and we fold it over, and we're just going to cut it into little strips. Look at that. Just like a, not quite an angel hair. It's probably closer to a linguine because we're pressed for time, but it'd usually be a little thinner. If you ever wonder how they did hand-cut pasta, there it is. I always wondered, now, your pasta at the restaurant, not all of it, but most of it is handmade or hand? Yeah, probably half of it. Homemade? Half of our dishes are homemade. Uh, we make, uh, my mother actually makes the crepes for the Manigault. She makes them every day, and uh, we make gnocchi every day, and we'll be making this every day. And uh, oftentimes we offer uh, a lot of homemade pasta specials. Do you know any other place that offers uh, a dish like this, the agnolati? This, in is, Western New this York? is very unique to Western New York. And uh, we also have another dish uh, called pasta a la norma, which is a kind of a play on an eggplant dish. It's um, 
We use pacari, which is garofalo, and I learned how to make this while I was in Italy. And, uh, you know, you cook up the pacari. It, it's a, like a round pasta that's unridged, a little basil pesto, some buffalo mozzarella, some eggplant, a little bit of white wine and garlic, and it's really dynamite. Everything is dynamite. We should share this little pasta secret because we were talking about it. We discovered it. My husband discovered it. You say you use it. You can get it at Gershio's. It's called Garofalo. Garofalo, yep. And truly, it is. It's almost like the next best thing to having homemade pasta. I love seeing All my friends are here. I'm going to share, but just <laughs> add a small bit for everybody. All right. Chef Joe, mulberries and La Mostra, two hours before showtime at Shea's and Jack.